I have a guest, a man I have not had on the show, I don't know, about five years. Is that is that fair to say? Seven years, Dr. Richmond. Let me let me very quickly say Dr. Michael Richmond, who is a board certified cardiothoracic surgeon and general surgeon. Now he's the founder of Paladin MDs, PaladinMDS.com. He's a patient advocate. But I the reason I am having him on is uh, first of all I have talked to you about health uh, all of my career. Whatever I could, whatever insight I could bring. In the beginning of my career, I told you carbs, not fat, was dangerous. That was a pretty lonely voice, but I was right. The government was wrong with its stupid pyramid. But as a rule, Ronald Reagan was right. The worst things you could hear are the government is here to help you. Or was that, is that his famous statement? Sometimes it's true and it works, but not usually. Dr. Richmond was my a doctor when he was practicing medicine directly with patients, and I believe, uh, I, you can't prove it, but I believe. He prolonged my life, and I am, thank God, very healthy. He knows his stuff, and what I recommended to you was something he be- made me aware of, and that is the erroneous way in which people's cholesterol is counted or measured. Dr. Michael Richmond, welcome back to the Dennis Prager Show. I'm so glad to be back. It's been a long time. Say it again. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. I'm so happy to be back. Yes, indeed. It is good to have you. So explain in your inimitable way what the cholesterol count is wrong about. Okay, well, first of all, I want to say, even though I haven't been on in seven years, I still have your loyal followers. I probably get three a month Mm. calling me and saying, you saved my life, or you saved Dennis's life. I want you to save my life. So it, it really stuck, all those shows we did. So basically what the issue has been for years, um, it was first described in 1961, Um, in a paper titled Triglycerides, Coronary Artery Disease, and Lipoproteins, that we should not be measuring the fat content in the blood. We should be measuring the transport vehicles because, obviously, oil and vinegar don't mix. So blood is the vinegar, um, cholesterol is the oil, okay? So they don't mix. You can't get them together. So the body ingeniously packages the cholesterol inside of particles and those particles drive the cholesterol around the body so if you remember the analogy i made years ago we measure the people in the cars but you need to be measuring the cars because it's the cars that traffic the cholesterol throughout the body the def- the definition of ldl cholesterol the traditional way is simply the amount of liquid cholesterol and a deciliter of plasma. So take a little bowl and put cholesterol in it. How, how, does that tell, how does that help you? Because it's not soluble. So we still measure the number of people in the cars and not the cars. And now it's even become more mainstream. It's become more accepted because if you remember, there were only a couple labs doing it. Now LabCorp bought the technology, the NMR, in People can get it everywhere. So technically, I can be provide guidance and take care of people everywhere now. And it has been shown that normal cholesterol testing misses about 50 to 60% of the variability in the population. So that means 50 to 60% of the people, like you, were told they had normal cholesterol and didn't. Because they were counting the passengers and not the cars. Correct. And now, because more labs are measuring lipids, that's the term, correct, of the cars. Lipoproteins. Lipoproteins. What's the difference between a lipoprotein and a lipid? Lipid is just a general term for fats. The lipoproteins are the proteins that are made all in right. the body that traffic the cholesterol through the body. All right, we're going to continue with Dr. Michael Richmond. I want you all to be healthier.